Hey guys, how's it going? It's MarcyPool7 here, aka Gay Brown Fraser, and today we're going to be doing a tech review. Now, tech reviews are uh, relatively new to my channel, but we'll be doing tech reviews every single week, every single Tuesday. So, and everything's gonna be different. I mean, it's gonna be sometimes unboxings, all kinds of stuff. Um, this week we're doing a hydrogen reactor made by Brunton, and uh, thing about Brunton is. Uh, they're a very reputable company. They've been around since 1894, so I mean that's that's pretty amazing. And they basically make uh, compasses and out outdoor gear and stuff like that. So uh, this is the Brunton reactor right here. Let me just get this out. And the cool thing about this is it's a hydrogen reactor, and the fact that it's this small. Now, talk about alternative resources. So alternative resources. Um, like windmills and such and you know solar power and stuff like that it's all good and all but they have their problems but the thing about hydrogen reactor or hydrogen in general the only bad thing about hydrogen is literally that it's expensive and it's it's not very flame retardant but uh... it's actually pretty flammable but um... this actually is uh... it's it's not too expensive but it's actually a reasonable price for actually what you can deal with and uh, actually you can do with it and it's uh, it actually has uh, flame proof retardant material all around it so so I'll show you the hydro cores and I'll talk to you about hydrogen while I'm making it so the thing about a hydrogen core um, which is actually supposed to be the new technology of the future is uh, hydrogen you literally it's mainly made up of the atmosphere of the earth most of it's made up of the atmosphere of the earth and uh, the thing about that is you know, you got so much hydrogen in the earth that, you know, it's very useful if you to use to actually use it. And the fact that there's literally nothing wrong with it besides it's fire resistant and expensive material to make. But um so basically a fuel cell you basically um most hydrogen reactor stuff or most hydrogen power stuff is that you just basically put in a fuel cell which is made out of water and just hydrogen inside and you insert it into the reactor like this one here and soon there's like cars and stuff is um, I think Toyota is making one a hydrogen fuel cell car completely made out of hydrogen well the fuel cell and um, basically you insert this fuel cell and the reactor generates electricity by the water and it's actually pretty cool so I'll show you guys here um, so the thing about the Brunton, the Brunton hydrogen reactor is that you can actually, it's actually equivalent, the two fuel cells are actually equivalent to 30 plus AA batteries, and that's actually pretty good. And what's cool about this is that, uh, not only is it a future technology, but, um, you can actually use this in any situation. And so, I mean, if the power is out, you can use this to power all your stuff. I mean, not anything too big, but as long as it's USB um driven or powered like your smartphone your mp3 player and etc etc stuff like that so i mean i mean it's it's pretty useful especially if you're in the outdoors i mean these things are made to take a beating and they're made for the outdoors and uh you can literally use this anywhere and it's not heavy it's actually pretty light um another thing is uh brunson their model i mean they're a pretty reptile company i mean since i said they've been open since 1894 uh, or they started since 1894 building compasses and stuff like that. They're, I mean, listen to their model. I mean, their model is pretty cool. Their model is basically, uh, okay, so their model is buy it, try it, bust it, return it, no questions asked. And I, that's a pretty cool motto. Stand by. I mean, I mean, these guys, they, they make pretty rugged stuff. Like, um, this is their first hydrogen reactor, I'm pretty sure they made, but they also have, um, they also have, uh, like 10,000 mAh batteries and stuff like that you can charge your stuff with if you don't, if you rarely prefer that. But, um, uh, 
so the cost let's talk about the cost of this thing before I power it up and show you guys what it can do um, so the cost of it is relatively like not expensive for hydrogen it actually costs around a hundred well it depends where you buy it actually <laughs> I got mine for $150, which is actually pretty, that's not that, that's not that bad for hydrogen, and it's a renewable resource and everything else, but, uh, if you buy it straight from Brunton, the company, it costs, it would cost you around $200, I'm not sure the exact price, don't quote me on that, but you can actually, the thing about, the reason why it's more expensive is because you're, you're buying it from, straight from the company, and you actually get two additional Hydro cores, which are these things, the fuel cells, which I did not get too extra because I didn't buy straight from the company, but it's still pretty good though. So um, now I'm going to power up. I'm showing you guys how this works. I'm going to explain to you every component of the hydrogen reactor and what it can do and stuff like that. So uh, just give me a second here. I'll be right back. All right. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use this thing. So basically, I. Uh, I uh, labeled each of the hydrogen reactors. I don't know if you can see that. But I labeled each of them A and B, so I know which one I'm used first. And this is A, so I'm use this one because I've I've used I've used it up a bit, but it's still gonna work. So basically, you just insert this like this, and uh, basically when you turn this on and it powers up, it emits water vapor. There's a little hole right here. It emits water vapor right here. It comes out right here, and these are the vents at the sides. In which heat energy comes out, so and air can come in to cool it down, and uh, <laughs> you won't have to worry about it overheating or anything. But uh, it's it's still pretty it's still pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna hook this up now and uh, show you guys what this looks like. Just let me plug this in. There we go. Hook this up to my phone, my HEC one M8. Meat. <laughs> all right, so I'll just screw this on all the way, power it on, and it will be running here shortly. Just taking a bit. Also, another thing is uh, when you're powering this thing up, you usually want to lay it down flat. And before you uh, plug in the fuel cell, make sure that whatever you're putting into the, I mean, it doesn't matter which way, but the way I do it is I just usually plug in the USB, and there we go. All right, so now I have my phone hooked up to this, and it should be charging here momentarily. So once it uh, heats up and everything starts up. So... Uh, usually when you turn this on the light indicator goes red meaning it should be blinking red meaning that uh, it's uh, charging up it's uh, starting up in the processes and everything going and then once it turns blue that means that it should be working which right now will be working pretty soon and as you can see the phone is charging at the top left of your screen so yeah. Okay, so now that I've showed you guys the hydrogen reactor and what it can do, and um, before I get into the schedule and everything, I'm just going to talk to you guys about what else it has and what else they kind, of, what other kinds of things that they sell and everything else. So um, it actually comes in this. I mean, regardless of where you order it from, it actually comes in this pretty uh, pretty secure foam box, which is pretty cool. So I actually use this when I travel a lot. And um, so I'm going to put the link in the description to their website and to this specific product so you guys can check that out if you want and decide if you want to buy one. And um, so just um, put your own opinion on it and uh, stuff like that. So and now I'm going to tell you guys about the schedule and everything. So there's going to be hopefully tech reviews every week. There's going to be all kinds of new stuff and all kinds of things like that. I mean this compared to the rest of the stuff I'm going to show you guys is maybe I mean it's not as cool I guess you'd say or as extravagant but it's gonna be pretty cool it's gonna be something gargantuan <laughs> um, 
Next week, hopefully, I'll be able to get my hands on a 3D printer made by Cubify, so that's going to be pretty cool. And I'll tell you guys, I love alternative resources, so, like, everything that I get, it kind of revolves around it being eco-friendly or environmentally friendly, so I like all the stuff that I have. Like, the 3D printer, it's actually, um, hopefully when I get it, it's recycled, it's made out of recycled material, and it prints from recycled material. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, um, um, you rate it, then put a comment and tell me guys what you like. Then I, I just want to apologize for kind of, like, this is my first review, so if you guys notice anything wrong, I apologize for that. But, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.